Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Max Bodipo, B-O-D-I-P-O, B-O-D-I-P-O. So, today I'm sharing with you living in Ghana as a foreigner, expectations versus realities. Before I get straight into the points, please don't take anything that I'm going to say personal. This is just for me to share with you what I expected and what is the reality about Ghana. So, the first thing I was expecting <laughs> was a five star, <laughs> you know, rating country i was always thinking ghana was you know <laughs> i was always thinking there was snow in ghana flying cars metros trains you know those sorts of, of stuff so i remember the first day i arrived in ghana that was in 2015 in the old aqua international airport so now if you don't know ghana has a new airport that i think it was open last year 2019 or 2018 i am not really sure about the date that was the old airport the old airport was actually good so you can imagine the new one so when i arrived i was like oh my god what a nice place indeed my expectations were not cut short but the moment i took the taxi and i started you know i was i started going into the town and all that i was like only god knows <laughs> second thing is to be sincere with you guys i was expecting ghana to be much affordable as compared to other countries living in ghana is not as cheap as it seems especially for foreign students for foreigners Personally, I'm a foreign student and I know what I'm telling you. If you plan on coming to Ghana to study or you plan on Ghana or you plan on coming to Ghana to um, do business or whatever you whatever reason, please make sure you have a big budget because you actually going to spend a lot. Um you know, studying as a foreigner is difficult and also renting places is also difficult so and a bit expensive the standard of living in ghana is a bit high especially when it comes to prices you know um personally i think it's a bit high because when i compare um ghana to my place without disrespect i think um when it comes to the monthly bills and then the food stuff i think um my place is a bit cheaper ghana is a bit um, expensive when it comes to monthly bills <sighs> when it comes to um, food stuff keeping the house and all that so yeah I was expecting it to be a bit cheaper so the 14 the 14 <laughs> yes as I said earlier I was expecting flying cars snow you know skyscrapers and many more things and i have to admit it is not as i was expecting but actually ghana is a nice and beautiful country and some of the best things about ghana is the freedom i have to admit that ghana is a free country so if you are looking at you know moving abroad and going to start all over abroad you can consider ghana because it is a free country there is freedom there is peace nobody is going to ever disturb you in other countries living as a foreigner is so difficult it's just a, a, a difficult experience when it comes to freedom because you can't go anywhere without your passport without your ids you always have to explain the reason why you are there this and that but in ghana as a foreigner we don't experience that we are always free to go wherever you want to go with or without documents with or without passports with or without ids we don't really have to explain ourselves much to people why we do this why we don't do this i think in when it comes to that ghana is actually um one of the best places to be because you always experience peace freedom and the people are always so welcoming 
so yeah those were my expectations and those were the realities these are the realities so guys this is all for today you already know what to do subscribe keep watching my content share and comment and if you have any video suggestion please put it down below so thank you so much beautiful day for you all bye